see. Here you go, Banjo Kazooie. First released 1998. Let's get right into it. Only one player. Yeah, it's a shame it's only one player, but it's a classic game. I love it. It's one of my favorite platformers. Absolutely. I tried one of my it favorites. once. Yeah, you streamed it, didn't you? You got. Oh god, what's this? You got a decent amount, didn't you, into the game when you played? <laughs> no, what's this game doing? Rary Play, what are you doing? I just want to play banjo. <laughs> You've a lot no, of I don't want to go to the gallery. I just want to play banjo. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Okay, I, I wanted to look at the options first. See, control options. Uh, all right, there's, there are no game options. All right, fine. Let's <laughs> okay. get into this then. I said, play. Oh, it's like play. crab. I remember that. Play. Why are you not playing? Hello? You broke it. I mean, you and started, what? you broke it. Yeah, and um, my thing says Jibs27. That's, that's out of date. Hang oh, on. Yeah. I changed my game attack. Oh, there we go. It's kicking in. That, that was that was. Yeah, that's weird. weird. <laughs> Picked it's up probably because it, it, no, it's because uh, my Xbox isn't set online, so I've uh, it's a bit out of date. Ah. Ah, uh, I need to update it soon. Anywho, uh, we might as well start the actual uh, introductions. I'm gonna keep all that rambling in, by the way, because <laughs> uh, why not? It'll be an interesting start. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the multi tap. I am Jamie, and I'm joined here with my good friend. John, yeah, I was I was hoping you'd actually say something. Then it's it's always horrible when it's like I'm here <laughs> with, and then a tumbleweed comes by. <laughs> that game attack is out of date. Why does it say Jibs twenty seven? I've changed it since then. God damn it! Everyone had Jibs twenty seven. <laughs> well, uh. they, they can. I don't know if it'll work now because again, my name's different these days. I don't know why it's still set to that. Okay. Uh, but here we go. The first multi tap playthrough of Banjo Kazooie, and oh. Oh, I love this game. Such a good game. I was expecting you to chime in with something then, John. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, yeah, good commentary. <laughs> good start. <laughs> um, you know, um, I'm, I'm just I just remember this. the last time I played this. Well, when you played it on the live stream before, and that was your first time playing it, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah going fury at one point. Yeah, what were you, apart from your infuriation, what were your thoughts on the game from what little you played? It was alright. I mean, it was a bit tricky navigating with the camera and stuff, you know? Ah. Uh, but I got into that, and yeah, I like that, generally. Now I've played, know. completed it though. Well, you're gonna see a full playthrough, maybe not today, because I don't know how long it's thought this, this session will be, but you're gonna see a full playthrough within the coming weeks. Good old John. You're gonna see me play through the game and utterly shred through the game like Banjo just shredded that there termite. Let's begin. Uh, let's game. Uh, no, I'm gonna play offline. Fuck Xbox Live. So, yeah, I played this game way back when it first came out on the um, N64. So there you go. Six hours was my last playthrough. So it should, uh. should be. It shouldn't take too long for us to beat this. Um, but yeah, I played this back in the day on the N64, and it's. Probably one of my favorite N64 games ever. All time? I love this game. Yeah, of all time. It's so good. It's one of my favorite platformers, just flat out as well. It's just it's so quirky. The dialogue is great. The soundtrack is mm, bellissimo. And uh, if anyone's wondering why we're playing the Xbox version and not the uh, N64 release, well, the Xbox version's in HD and it's a lot less trouble than setting up my N64. Plus, there are some quality of life changes that uh, make the Xbox version a bit better. Mainly, like, you know if you die when you collect notes, like the main collectibles of the game? Notes? In oh yeah, I can yeah, remember yeah, those. Yeah, the main, the main things you pick up. In the uh, original N64 version, if you died, you have to recollect every single one again. That's not an issue in this version, they made it so the, no the ones you uh. pick up save. Uh, so small quality touch, quality of life things like that. The frame rate is a lot more stable. So uh, it's, it's just you know things like that to make this version a bit better. So which version do I have then? Because I just have the one which is on the 360 bars backwards compatible. That's exactly the same as the rare replay version I'm using here. Oh, okay. It's it, like this just loads that version up. It's probably okay, why it takes same so long thing to then. kick. In. Yeah, it's exactly the same as what you played. Right. Um. So that's good. I love this intro so much. 
when, fun fact, when I was a child, I used to be terrified of this villain. And I don't know why, because she's such a goofy, quirky character. Terrifies me now. Yeah, but when I first played this back in the day, I remember going to... Uh, we were in, at my mother's friend's house when we first played Banjo-Kazooie. And I actually... We, I was laying on a bed, and I actually hid under the blankets. I remember that back in the day. <laughs> oh. Okay. But, uh... Such a good game. Such a Half this commentary is going to be me bl gushing about saying, Hey, this is such a good game. You should play this. And if no one has played this on YouTube, j what are you doing? Play it now. Alright, stop watching it. Actually, don't stop watching this. Watch all of this, pause it, then go and play it. Because this game, oh, it tingles me so. Wow. Ah, beautiful. I just had a worrying thing. Hmm? What's my, that? uh, had a message come up. My CPU reached minus one degrees. M minus one degrees? <laughs> okay, I have heard of efficient cooling on a computer, <laughs> but that's a bit, um... That's true. Hmm. Yeah, but just a bit. Oh, God. But one of my favourite things about the villain in this game is, um, she talks in rhymes all the time. Which she, they actually took away in the sequel. In Banjo Tooie, they got rid of that quirk for some reason. But uh, throughout the entire course of the game, you'll be traversing through her lair and stuff, and she'll be taunting you, going, you know, saying things like, ah, Catch me, you will not dare. In my trap, you will be ensnared. And you know, stuff like that. That's not actually a line, I just ad libbed that, but. I'm just trying for subtitles in this game. <laughs> well, it has to have subtitles. I mean, everyone talks like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I would say it was a limitation of the time, but N64 games do exist where there's full voice acting. Like Conker's Bad Fur Day, for instance, which, uh... Ooh, the dialogue in that game is, uh, simply Never actually special. played that. That's actually on Rare Replay. Um, Not the Uncensored one, is it? It is the Uncensored one. It's the N64 release on Rare Replay. Oh. Alright, first things first, I'm gonna go back here, and, uh... To, when you're talking to these characters, if you hold down the A button, they will talk a little bit faster, which I'm going to be abusing. Yeah. Because uh, I want to get into the game, because this is all just tutorial land. And uh, because I know exactly what I'm doing, I am going to be basically skipping the tutorial. Yeah, you don't need to talk to them a lot, yeah. Yeah, so whenever he tells me what to do, I'm, like, he's going to come up with a option say push A to continue a tutorial, or B button to say no. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say B because uh, I think I'm already good enough. I know how to play this game. That remains to be seen. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see my skills or lack thereof. <laughs> yes. Uh, but anyway, uh, I will be explaining the moves as we go along because I am I am doing the tutorial section. I'm just skipping the actual tutorial what? bit. I didn't know that was her. Yep, that's an extra life. Well, didn't tell me about that when I streamed before. I probably didn't, no. But to be fair, no. I didn't want to spoil things to you. I wanted you to treat it as it was an actual first playthrough, yeah. you know? Because part, part of the thing with this game is exploring and playing the game yourself to find everything, you know? But uh, if you're wondering how to do the high jump, you press the right trigger and then the A button and then bada bing bada boom, we get a beautiful honeycomb piece. And if we get uh, all of them filled up, we get an extra bit of health. So it... Uh, it bumps us up, basically. It makes us a little bit more buff, a little bit more powerful, a little bit more mm, sexy, you know? Worth killing them. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I know there's killing. one down there somewhere. Yeah, there's one right by here. That one I found. Um, and if anyone's wondering if this is going to be a 100% playthrough, uh, yes, it will be a 100% playthrough, because this is a game that I can... This is a game I can just play and casually get 100% in, you know? Uh, Banjo Tooie less so, but um, we'll handle that bridge when the time comes because I don't plan on doing Banjo Tooie right after this game. Plus, we have to do whatever game John wants to record as well afterwards. So, because <laughs> I got to remember, oh, no, it's not, just, yeah. not just me oh, in this yeah. channel. I got some ideas for that, <laughs> oh, and I'm worried about those ideas. <laughs> I am very worried. Um, I'm assuming it's some. Oh, it's over there. I went to the wrong side. I'm assuming you got some, like, two-player games planned. Oh, you have no idea. Because <laughs> uh, I, I got a couple of two-player games planned for this channel as well for us to play through. Like, uh, Streets of Rage I want to play. 
we're gonna have to cheat in that game though because uh oh, okay. but wait we um, played that a while back if I remember. Uh we didn't record it though, we played it just uh, personally, so That was uh fun. Yeah, and this time we will activate the cheat, so it should be a bit easier for us. We might actually be able to complete it. <laughs> Cause last time we failed, we failed utterly. Oh, uh, I can't remember. We did get a bit into it though. Yeah, actually we might have used the cheats last time, I can't remember. Hmm. Anyway, what I used for there was a charge attack. It's powerful. It's, uh... There you go, you press the RT button, you push the X button. I rarely use this attack unless I'm forced to, because if I jump and push the X button, you get this attack. Yeah. And uh, this has basically the exact same strength attributes, so I tend to use this when I have to uh, damage enemies and do uh, major damage. Plus it's useful just in general. It's probably my most used attack in these games. But there we go, we got all of the honeycomb pieces, oh, so quick. we now got the first bit of health. Yes, this playthrough, for the most part, will be quite quick. Like, probably six, maybe seven hours at most, you know? You missed I, I, the thing. Uh, these things are just health. I don't need to pick them up. Mmm, <laughs> I'm sticky, tasty, honey energy. <laughs> I was going to say, all right, Arnold Schwarzenegger, but it doesn't really fit, does it? Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> There's a weird-ass Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mmm, <laughs> get, uh, get to the chopper. <laughs> get to the coin. Or the honeycomb. Get to the honeycomb now. <laughs> you know, I, I, I would, I would watch a Terminator movie where he plays as Banjo the Bear. That would be pretty dope. So now we are ready to tackle the witch. I thought I said tickle the witch. Like what? <laughs> um. Tickle, 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 tickle. How dare you tickle me? I'll make you scree. Mm. Scree. I, I'm not good at rhymes, uh, as you can probably tell. I was never good at them. Why is she inside the what? Basically... Oh, I know. Yeah, I yeah, remember now. She's basically trying to turn uh, herself beautiful by stealing co Coco? Is that fucking Crash Bandicoot's sister? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he let himself go a bit. <laughs> I mean... I bet! His <laughs> eye is all puffed up. <laughs> Jesus uh. Christ. Needs to go on the slim fast. It's like, kapow, Chris Platt! Oh, God, I remember Croc. That's a game I haven't played in a long ass time. Same. I like Croc. Amy, um, that's probably one for the channel, I suppose. I got my copy on my shelf over there, so I guess we could load it up one day. Yeah. Although that game I probably might emulate for the sake of convenience, because I don't know how it runs on a PS3. Mm, true. Anyway, we got the first major MacGuffin of the game. These are the jiggies. You need these. These open levels. Yeah, there's uh, uh, nothing else really to say about them, the open levels. They're this, Mar they're this game's stars, if anyone's played Mario. And I keep going I keep going to activate the running ability, which you can do, but it's mm, I haven't unlocked it yet. Alright, so how, how say you we go to the first world of the game? After this... this the game t t gives me the obligatory tutorial. It's kind of annoying, okay. actually. Um, like, there's actually a way to put all the pi all the jigsaw pieces you have into a picture at once, but that doesn't become available until the game just tells you you can do it for some reason. So, for the first couple of pictures, I have to mash the A button to get them finished, but it's not a big deal. Mumbo's Mountain. Aye, Mumbo's Mountain. That was such an easy fit. The others may just taste your wit. Taste your wit. T taste, taste your wit.